Hello YouTube, Johnny here with another video. This one's going to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to try with the um, little um, production value. <laughs> Not so shitty, you know, because it's kind of bad and don't want my channel to be laughing stock. Anyway, on to the video. Today's topic will be World War II platoon level organization. I'm not going to go into tactics because there's I'm not very familiar with it. If you want me to make a research and do a follow-up video, I can. Just ask me if you want any more of these videos. Um, I'm plan I'm also planning on doing videos about the pan uh, specs of a pan of the Panzer IV, the Stug, Panther, both the Czech style tank, both the Czech copy tanks, and probably some other ones. But definitely the Panzer IV. I know that for a fact. Anyway, on to the video. The German army itself, they had there's a large amount of organizations in it, but as I said, we're talking about the infantry platoon. This was one of the smallest units of the German army in terms of like organizational levels. It was just a it's just above um, squad and squad, which is which stands for is troop, which, yeah, squad troop, uh, that's the smallest unit in terms of organization. There's probably other ones, but, you know, that's what we're sticking to. Anyway, well, first we're going to talk about just the different units, then we're going to go into detail later. So, the first unit was the command troop. There was, a, there was also a mortar detachment that was attached to to it, it could have either it would either been its own separate unit or it would be part of the command troop i've had conflicting data about it so i'm just going to say it could have been either probably situational and also many times there wasn't even a mortar because the mortar the mortar that was used was heavy anyway we will continue also sorry if there's any background noise production value as i said is still shit Anyway, there's also a, there's between two and five uh, infantry uh, squads or troops. These depended, this depended on what type, what part of the war and really how many men. It's probably more, le more along the lines of how many men you have because German army was very depleted by 1944. 45, there was no men by 945, really. Anyway, so, now we're going to get into the meat, my favorite part, details. The command, the command uh, squad, which was uh, commanded by a Feldwebel. A Feldwebel is the equivalent of a staff sergeant in the American Army. Or the American Army at the point at that time, U.S. Army. He was armed with an MP40 submachine gun, uh, standard, but you know, whatever. He probably got a PBSH. Just we're just we're just going generals, general stuff. The next, uh, his his assistant, uh, he had an assistant with him. That would have been the Unteroffizier, which is the current, uh, the equivalent rank of a sergeant. He was also armed with an MP40. Then we had there was um, two uh, two runners or messengers, whatever you want to call it. They were both armed with Car 98Ks. Then there was a stretcher bearer. The stretcher bearer was armed with a rifle or a pistol, situational, I guess, supply, whatever, and he also had his medical equipment. Anyway, next would be the mortar troop. The mortar troop was between two and three um, mortarmen, and um, they were all armed with Car 98 Ks. The mortar that was used um, depended on the um, uh, situation, or depended on supply. The standard mortar was the uh, Granat Granatwerfer. Uh, 36, which is a 50 millimeter mortar, 
These were not really used in Russia because they were heavy. And they were typically abandoned. There wouldn't have been a mortar squad. Uh, but if they were supplied with one, uh, I, I read French and Soviet 50 millimeter mortars were both used, depending if you can get them. Anyway, now we will talk about the infantry squads. Each infantry squad or uh, troop, infantry troop, rifle troop, was made up of nine men. The first, or there's, it was divided into two different sections. These sections were um, just controlled by two different, by the assistant and the, and the squad, or the assistant and the squad leader. Ooh. The assistant uh, was. No, let me sorry. Let me start from the the squad leader and the assistant. The first troop, which was the MG uh, troop, was controlled by a Obergefighter. An Obergefighter is the rank of corporal. It was the equivalent rank of corporal, and he was armed with an MP40. His two or his three subordinates underneath him and his squad were in his in the MG troop would have been um, a grenadier armed with an MG forty two and a P thirty eight handgun and a uh, his assistant who would have also been armed with a pistol and then a ammo bearer the ammo the ammo bearer would have been armed with a rifle though. And he would have just carried ammo, cans, and belts. Then, uh, sorry about that. I was just adjusting because the seat's uncomfortable. Anyway, then there was the uh, the Schutz troop. The Schutz troop was uh, con he was uh, it was controlled by this assistant squad leader who was the rank of Gefighter. Gefighter is the equivalent rank of Lance Corporal. Lance Corporal are the the Gefighter uh, was armed with an MP40 as well, and his five subordinates were armed with Car 98Ks, and one was armed with a, uh, a rifle grenade launcher. Or rifle grenades. I don't remember which one exactly. If it was a launcher, if it was just, you just put the rifle grenades on the end. Anyway, along with uh, the rifles and stuff of all the units, they were also issued um, grenades situationally, which would have been the, uh, I believe, M thirty nine egg grenade, and then the stick, the stick type grenade, and then anti tank grenades. I don't know if how often those have been issued, but they were issued sometimes. Probably mostly to anti tank units. Anyway, that is uh, that's the end of the video. If you uh, have any suggestions, comments, if you want anything else for me to do. Um, if you like if you like the new format, if you dislike it, if you like the thumbnail, dislike the thumbnail, tell me. I'm just I'm just trying to make the videos better, you know, so people actually watch them. Um, probably people learn something. And also sorry if I'm if you don't like the tone, it's not nearly as academic as I'd probably like. I'm, I also apologize for the bad studio I'm working in. Studio. Anyway, um, thanks for watching the video, and uh, appreciate it if you uh, left a comment and a like. Anyway, bye.